What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, today we're going to do an unboxing of a welder. What I think will probably be the best cheap TIG welder that you can get off of Amazon. I did some research. This is what I come up with. This is the Prime Weld 225X. I know you're thinking, this is a car channel. This channel's about racing. You know, I got racing videos up. I got the Malibu I'm working on. That's uh, you know, really high performance street strip car. It's my opinion that everybody that has those type of vehicles, does that type of work, should have some type of welder. Now there's two type of welders that you would want. One of them being a MIG, the other one be a TIG welder. Definitely if you got a MIG welder, you need something that has uh, capabilities of running gas, not just flux core. A lot better welds, looks a lot better, better quality. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to use. So that's why I'm making this video. We're going to do an unboxing of this. Kind of go over a little bit of background. I do have a little bit of a background with some welding. I'm not a welder by any means. I have used MIG welder in the past. I have used a TIG welder in the past. My experience, I did work for air gas for just a little, about a little over a year. I did go to a training center that Lincoln has near Atlanta, Georgia. I was able to use a TIG welder. Limited, a limited amount during that time. That's kind of my uh, experience with it. Uh, the biggest thing I was looking for in a welder, um, I've always wanted something like a Miller Dynasty, but the problem with that is they're so expensive. They was expensive when I worked for air gas you know, 15, 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, they're even more expensive now. You know, you get a dynasty rig ready to go, you're looking at between four and five thousand dollars. This right here comes in at seven seventy five. That's what I paid for this one as of the time of making this video. It may be higher you know, in the future. I think there's a few good China-made welders out there. From everything I could see and, and the research I did, this is one of them. So, I think everybody probably kind of knows about the AHP. Uh, one thing with it, there's a newer version out, but it's not sold on Amazon now, so the the 200 AHP is the one that everybody's used. Uh, a lot of reviews online with it, a lot of YouTube videos about it. But I think it's a 210X HD or something along those lines. That's not available on Amazon that I could find. So when I couldn't find that, I saw this welder. It's got great reviews. It's you know, as many stars uh, as the AHP does. So that got me to looking at it, reading reviews. The customer support seems to be good if you need them. Uh, repair facility is in the U.S. if you need it. Uh, there's also a better torch with this welder than comes with the other China-made welders and it's supposed to have a better foot pedal. So that's kind of what made me look at this one. Uh, and looking at the dials on the face, there's a lot more adjustability. So I'll get into that a little bit later, but the big thing that I wanted with the welder was AC and DC so I could do aluminum, and I wanted pulse. So for the price range, 
basically this and AHP is the only ones that does it. There is Everlast, but they're, you know, since they kind of got a name now, they're up over a thousand dollars from what I could find. So, without making you wait any longer, let's go ahead and uh, start opening this up and see what's in the box. Of course you got the owner's manual, uh, pretty thick, it says need help please call seven days per week. So like I said one of the big things, selling points that I've seen with this welder is the uh, customer support. So. Now this is the big selling point in my opinion with this welder and that is designed and engineered CK Worldwide uh, design engineered USA so USA made I guess it's USA made everybody says USA made but I don't actually see made on it tick torch Looks like it's got a small back cap in there with it. That's something a little different. It's usually just the standard. So, got your normal connection. And one of the good things is, is this is a flex head. Torch. So that's uh, a big selling point. That's probably one of the biggest things that made me go after buying this welder versus uh, the AHP. Really quality torch. CK Worldwide is known for that. Oh, one of the other big things. This is an inverter. It will run on 110, 220, or I think it may be listed 115, 230. Uh, so you got the adapter. That's big for me. I don't have 220. So got your uh, standard style consumables here. You don't have any gas lenses. Um, you can see the tungsten slid out. So they do send that with it. That's a gray. I'm not sure what that is. I actually bought tungsten off of Amazon also. So standard consumables. I will try a gas lens setup. And uh, maybe fear cup, those type things later on. Uh, from what I've read, you know, like I said, I've got some experience with TIG welder, but not a lot. So, from what I read, you're better off learning with standard stuff. It's easier to see when you're messing up with the heat because the uh, ferric style cups, they shield so much uh, with the gas that it kind of, it can hide it some if you're inexperienced, so. didn't want to come out. So here you 
have a welding shield. You got a slag hammer and I guess you want to call that a hammer. And a brush. You got a handle. You know, just in case. And of course there's a lens in there. Just in case, you know, you're some kind of special person and can hold this, can hold the torch, and uh, feed the TIG wire with your feet or with your mouth. Otherwise, it's worthless. Ground clamp, nothing special. Your uh, stinger for doing stick. Uh, in case there's anybody watching that doesn't know, uh, take machines will do stick welding uh, or arc welding, whatever how you want to describe it. So uh, usually the TIG machines though they're not like super great with stick welding. So you can probably run like a 7018 no problem. You're probably not going to run something hard like a 6010. Uh, so there's your gas hose. that's um, I'm sure it's not made in the US it doesn't say anywhere where it's made but flow meters a lot better you'd rather um, put your set your gas by cubic feet per hour rather than doing it with a regular pressure gauge, a lot more accurate. That's where you're going to find everything. When you see references online, they're going to say cubic feet per hour CFH that you need to set your flow to. So. That's an improvement. I'll probably replace it. And one of the reasons is why, or one of the reasons why, uh, I want a dual flow meter because I'm planning on doing uh, some exhaust work, some probably some turbo stuff eventually. I'm thinking about ordering stainless steel for exhaust tubing on the Malibu. So I'll need to back purge stainless steel and hence you need the dual flow meter. Now a lot of the old or older videos that I've seen of this welder had the, I'm going to say the Chinese style foot pedal. So this is your normal style foot pedal, like would come with a Lincoln or a Miller. So improvement. I know that's one of the big things that everybody hates with the other ones. So that's kind of solved there. Everybody brags about how these things are boxed together. I'm not really worried about showing you that. But it does seem to be 
So it's encased basically all around in this, and it does have metal tabs. Guess I can get the I said I wasn't gonna worry about it, but I'll show you. After all, it is an unboxing video, so as you can see, I got the corners down there. And it is encased. So I don't know if I want to pull this thing out. I guess I should. Camera set back up. Okay, I'm not going to pull this all apart because I'm going to put it back in the box. It's going to be a little bit before I use it. So, as you can see, lots of knobs, buttons, all that good stuff. So, you got your TIG stick. AC DC frequency and balance for your AC. Now down here is something I haven't seen on other uh, models. So you got your four T, which will be your foot pedal and two T. But one thing you have here for your 2T which is the button start instead of the foot pedal. You got a start currency so when you initiate it it'll start there and then it'll slope up to where you want it. This is your welding current so this is the high end basically if you you know using the button or if you got the foot pedal mashed all the way down. Your down slope for tapering off once again for using the button and the end current. So those are things that you normally do not see. Um, Pre-flow, post-flow for your gas that's adjustable on this machine. Over here you've got your switch or regular or pulse and then your pulse controls frequency and duty so as you can see this machine has a ton of options on it and that's one of the reasons I decided to go with it so I think it's gonna be a great machine I will do a review on it. I'll probably make some videos showing me doing some welding. Uh, like I said, doing exhaust work. Eventually probably doing turbo fab work. We'll see how this works out. I think uh, if it turns out to be as good as what I've read online and what other people have said, this will definitely be the best cheap TIG machine that you can buy. So, thanks for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you later.